Hey gang, it's Jade here from the New You Program, and today I just want to talk quickly, hopefully I can keep this video short, on a very controversial topic, which is gluten. What the heck is gluten? Why would you want to be removing it from your diet? Gluten is essentially a type of protein that's found in some specific grains. The big three are wheat, rye, and barley. Those are the ones that people consume a lot of. To a lesser degree, some other grains, doesn't really matter so much. It's an inflammatory protein, um, it can cause some digestive issues, can cause some digestive stress, and then of course that would lead to a plethora of other issues. There's also a lot of things uh, out there that would cause digestive stress. Sugar, other types of processed foods, alcohol, caffeine, lack of sleep, work stress, relationship stress, money stress, all that stuff is also very hard on your digestive system. So, gluten just being one of those things out of a, a massive amounts of things that can cause digestive upset. So, just so you know, if I took something like 10 people, if I took say 10 of my clients and I tested them for gluten sensitivity or gluten intolerance or celiac or whatever, I bet you it would be hard for me to find like one person out of those 10 people that actually were allergic uh, to gluten. So for the most part, most people are actually not that sensitive to gluten. So why does everyone keep telling you to remove gluten, including myself? Well, when uh, some, some of the, the, just a quick example of some people that I would want to completely uh, remove gluten from um, as much as possible. If, if I was working with someone with an autoimmune disorder, uh, MS, something like that, uh, someone with arthritis, um, osteoporosis, um, those are people that I'd want to reduce, if not eliminate gluten completely. Um, when I'm working with pro athletes, pro athletes are this special kind of breed. They're very focused on what they're doing and every small change they make that can sort of increase how hard they train and how fast they recover, they'll take it. So if that means reducing sugar, they'll do it. If that means focusing more on their sleep, if that means trying some new specific type of workout program, some new fancy supplement, reducing their alcohol content, if I didn't say that already, and of course, removing inflammatory frickin' foods like grains and gluten-containing grains. Of course they'll do that, they'll remove that. Uh, any edge they can get, they will do it. Uh, for the average person though, gluten is not that much of a big deal. It's crazy that you're hearing me say that right now because in a lot of my programs, I actually reduce gluten for a period of time. The reason that I remove gluten from someone's diet for a period of time, it's, uh, it's funny because on the internet these days, uh, you will get a lot of people say it's, it's very black and white. Gluten is inflammatory, you should never touch it, never touch your lips, it's horrible for you, it will kill you. Then there's the other end of the spectrum of everyone's just like, oh, it's totally fine. I just saw some study and it shows me gluten is completely safe and go nuts with it, eat the stuff all day long. But that's the problem with the internet these days and that's the problem with a lot of the way people think these days is it's either good for you or it's bad for you. There's no in between. And I'm here to tell you that there is a between. I like to get people to remove gluten for a period of time for a couple different reasons. First one being, if you've never removed grains from your diet for a period of time, it's going to be a very good thing for you to do for three or four weeks to reduce completely grains from your diet, just to see how you feel. When you're removing grains from your diet, you're removing cereals, pastas, crackers, sandwiches, and all kinds of processed food from your diet you are not going to get healthy and you are not going to uh, lose weight um, and you're not going to feel better eating a diet that's full of processed food. It's just almost impossible. So if you're trying to look good, you're trying to feel good, you're trying to lose fat, you have to reduce processed foods. Gluten is in processed foods. It's in breads, it's in crackers, it's in pastas, it's in cereals. That's pretty much the only place you're going to find gluten. So by removing gluten from your diet, you're also removing a lot of processed foods from your diet. And I'm not saying, oh, okay, you should choose gluten-free bread or gluten-free cereal. No, don't eat any of that crap. That stuff's actually usually worse for you from a sugar breakdown and an insulin issue than the actual real stuff um, that you were avoiding in the first place. So most people are not actually all that sensitive to gluten. They don't really have a gluten issue. but. Anytime you get a chance to reduce inflammatory foods from your uh, diet, you should, you, should, you should do it, especially if you're trying to train really hard and you're trying to make a change to your diet. Um, so that means grains in general, you should be reducing sugar, alcohol, reducing caffeine, focusing on your sleep, and of course, gluten just falls right in there. Am I saying you should reduce gluten forever? Definitely not. Am I saying you should reduce it for a period of time and then moderate it? 100%. 
avoid gluten type foods three to four weeks, remove them from your diet completely, then bring them back in to more moderate level where you can have them a couple times a week. Have a cracker, have some crackers for a snack or something once or twice a week. Go out and have a burger on the weekend. Go out and have a sandwich or a sub or something like that. But you have to know that that stuff is not going to help you lose weight. It's not going to help you lose fat. Sandwiches and crackers and cereals and pastas and all that crap is not going to help you lose weight. You already know this. And gluten just comes in that package. So the, the plan is remove that package from your diet completely. So it's not just so black and white like, Gluten's bad for you, never touch it, or gluten's fantastic, go nuts on it. It's not really like that. It's, yeah, it's okay for you. It's not that, you know, not that bad, but the reality is that you want to remove it because removing gluten from your diet is also removing processed foods from your diet. And removing processed foods from your diet is one of the fastest ways that you can lose weight. Processed foods jack up your blood sugar levels and in return release the fat storage hormone, hormone uh, insulin. And insulin is uh, one of the main reasons why most people can't lose weight today. Their insulin levels are usually so high and fluctuating so much throughout the day that they're always pretty much in fat storage mode. And this causes a large amount of stress on the body. It releases, releases large amounts of cortisol uh, into your system. And then of course your body is, cortisol is, is a crazy hormone that uh, too much of it or too little is a bad thing and it can catabolize muscle tissue and increase fat storage and um, along with the insulin itself increasing fat storage. Um, it's one of these things where reducing processed foods and thereby gluten from your diet is, is something that everyone should be thinking about. Um, yeah, that's, that's my rant on gluten. So I'm not saying that you should remove gluten from your diet 100% forever. I'm just saying remove gluten from your diet if you can for a few weeks and then bring gluten type foods. Don't be that Yale Town yuppie who's at freaking Cactus Club saying that you're gluten free and you've got to have the special gluten free menu and oh God, does this sauce have gluten in it? Oh my God. Don't be one of those people. Gluten is not affecting you usually from a health perspective. Most people aren't allergic or sensitive to it, like I said. Instead, just reduce it as much as possible knowing that those type of foods are causing you to hold on to fat or increasing your fat over time. So reduce those foods from your diet. That's all I really want to say today. I know I probably ranted quite a bit and I'm sorry about that. But I just want you to know that it's not so black and white. Gluten is not fantastic and it's not the devil at the same time. It's kind of somewhere in between. Reduce your processed foods, my friend, and you will see sort of some huge, uh, huge results. So uh, we'll talk soon and uh, have a great day. Bye.